Hello and welcome back. I am back doing the old things. I am going to Santiago de Compostela, traveling with this thing. Y'all, I'm back. Here's the plane. I took a, a little time off. I didn't make it to my 20th country, but I am back traveling. It's lit, it's warm. I got on this hot ass turtleneck because it's cold in the north, apparently. But it's all good. I'm going to Santiago. See y'all there. Peace. Okay, guys, I'm back. Just landed in Santiago de Compostela. And I can honestly say that I thought it would look better. <laughs> Let's see when I like see the cathedral because you know, like, that's the really big thing. Um, but yeah. Y'all, I like calling myself the travel bully. It sounds violent, but it's not. I just be, you know, but that's my way to cheap travel. I'm a bully, I'm a beast. But anyways, I'm here. It looks very like ancient and old, which makes sense. So I'm not staying in a hostel, so that's different. I'm staying in my Airbnb, so I'm about to arrive, so. Just wanted to check in the flight went well. I just snort down the police, snoring it like a pig, but you know what? It's okay. Black girl will travel, look, I get harassed. I'll see y'all when I get to my Airbnb so I can let y'all see. Oh, it is. All right, I'm coming, y'all. All right, guys, I'm back. I had problems getting into my hostel. But I'm finally here. Here is my room. You can see it's regular. I'm only like on the top floor, so it's only two floors. Or really three if you count the bottom floor. So I'm on the top floor. And it's normal. Small Spanish apartment. Is this a light? No. No. This is like the little waiting area. Waiting area. Desk. This is the bathroom. Where the magic happens, where you let go of your load. <laughs> and then this is the kitchen, very small. Cozy though, I would like to live in a place like this. I would love to have a place with two rooms. What the fuck is wrong with these lights? Galicia is very old, like the infrastructure is old. Like look at this, y'all, I could just tell. Like, I hope y'all can see what I see. Like the infrastructure is just old. And this is just like one apartment, but I can definitely tell. So this is the the kitchen. Definitely gonna be cooking it up because I'm on a budget. So I should probably go to the, I saw a Dia on my way here. So I'm gonna go to the Dia soon. My phone is like on 10%. Let's guess. 11. I'm waiting for the fire to come up. But yeah, y'all, that's just basically That's basically my Airbnb. So, let me go back to my room. So, I gotta get some more. Like. That's basically my tour. My Airbnb is very small. I pay $50 for Friday to Monday. Um, I miss at work on Monday because I won't be at work. And that's like, no, I miss at work because I'm a travel bully and it's cheaper to fly on Mondays than it is Sundays. So, I just took the day off. I'm about to just hang out, charge my phone, figure out what I'm about to buy from the grocery store because I'm only want to spend like five euros, honestly. I just need breakfast and lunch, maybe 10, 10 euros. And yeah, I'll see y'all once I start traveling out and going to like the cathedral and all of that. Until then, don't miss me too much. Peace. Hi guys. Good morning. I am late for my tour as per usual. Got another drill free walking tour and I'm like trying to rush but low key I'm not uh, my scarf is probably tied incorrectly but what else is new and it's not as sunny as it was yesterday yesterday was very sunny but that's typical Galicia 
was supposed to leave at 9 45 to get there by 10 o'clock. It's 9 55. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. An interesting concept. Usually with tours, though, they let you, uh, they give you like five minute grace period before they actually start the tour. So I'm hoping that's what happens because I don't want to miss the tour. So let's see how this all works out. I will see you guys on the tour soon. Peace. Okay guys, I'm back by the cathedral and I think there's no one here to do this tour. And I absolutely hate it. I don't like it being the only one on tours. So, let's see. Here is the cathedral in the daytime. You guys see me? This is it. Okay. This is it. Plaza do Abraido. Okay. Hey, y'all, I'm back. So, I already went on my tour, had lunch, and had a really good time. I couldn't really vlog the experience just because I met a nice girl on my tour. Girl, she's a woman. We were eating and stuff, you know. It's the whole thing about having a camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Santiago is so nice. Gonna let y'all see. Going out again tonight to um, get that bus. But yeah, this is Santiago at night, in the day. <coughs> Now y'all know I'm good with directions, more or less. And I'm gonna try to find my way back to my hostel. Bobby T. I'm gonna try to find my way back to my hostel without getting lost. Cause I can't use my maps because I'm vlogging. I know I'm about a 15 minute walk because I googled that before and so that's all that matters. Which has the way? Y'all like, I think y'all would really like Santiago. It's best described as cute and compact. And that's the best way to describe it. If you don't go to any museums, you can see the entire city in three or four hours. Not bad, right? <laughs> so I hate when I like I see people begging and I like, can't give them anything it makes me feel so bad <sighs> okay I'm gonna show y'all once I get to where I'm going till then love me love me I can pass, find this plaza. I'll show y'all this plaza. But if not, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Hey guys, I am back. So cheap. Look. That was funny. Um, how about I look too crazy? I finally came out of the house. So, it is. The miracle. It is a Galician miracle. Whatever, I just like, I'm out of the house. I met my co-guest in the Airbnb. She was really nice. And now I am. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just kind of walking, exploring Galicia. It's so cute. It's like old but cute. I know I was saying it was like old, but it's actually old and cute. Look. I'm gonna try to find a cathedral actually. 
just to have a view before the sun completely sets. Should I go this way? No? Sorry guys, I almost dropped my phone and I'm directionally challenged. Okay. This way. This way? Can I go this way? Well, this one. Okay. Yes, I still recording. I'm still confused. There's like all these little small and people yelling. Say esta, Okay, so one thing note about Galicia is that they have a lot of Portuguese people. And my roommate who I stayed with in there, my co guest who I stayed with in the Airbnb, she's from Portugal, Lisbon. And she told me that north of Portugal and north of Spain, Galicia, A Coruña look very similar. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a traveler and it's hard. Forgive me if I look crazy. Look at this though. This is Praza de Inmaculada. And this is the Catedral. It's behind me, can you see? Can you see? Can you see? I hope so. Now this is what's in front of me. I hear what sounds like is a bagpipe. Come on. Saco la foto para la memoria. I look crazy. The cops are coming in the dirt in the in the dump truck, so I got to wait. I gotta fix my hair. Fix my hair.
like cricket teeth. Okay, this is a lot Ya, para que ustedes puedan ver I think I may go take a <coughs> I did <coughs> Oh god, someone's smoking and it's killing me Secondhand smoke is a killer Please don't smoke Guys, it kills I see the guy right there um Anyways <coughs> I forgot my dog I'm killed by the damn Smoke, second hand smoke Boss down, Tatiana Barbie on the green that shit. Uh, ooh. Please don't run me over. I enjoy traveling. If you run me over, I'll have to stop traveling. Where should I go? I think I'm gonna actually head home. Fountain of. I don't know. Too. Yo, I, I, I love the fact that I that I started to feel like I remember I was on a bus coming from the airport to the city of Santiago and I started to get those like heavy feelings like I'm a new place. I'm so happy to be traveling again. I love Rua, like I love that word. Oh, I hope it's not Rua, but I'm pronouncing it wrong. Oh, straight. Oh, Y'all always find my way back home. That's crazy. Even though my Airbnb is in my home, but I was just something told me to go straight and not right. And seven minutes walk straight is back to my Airbnb. This is amazing. Even I always think that I have a bad sense of direction, but I actually don't have a good sense of direction. How you like me now, partner? All good. I love the fact that this GoPro is so strong. I'm the closest person on earth. I feel like. And I need to get a holder for my GoPro. But my camera is still in tag after that fall. Happy. Happy to travel it. Now, I'm headed home. Maybe I'll go back out. Oh, this is good. This is really good. I would say the bus station in Santiago is about a 15, no, <laughs> lost, 20 minute walk from the city center. 15 to 20. Puedo pasar? Gracias. The Santiago is, hmm, it's, I wouldn't say it's hilly, but it's windy, you know, like, but it's not uncomfortable. So, 
it's not comfortable like I have on these boots. Hope y'all could have saw. If not, y'all not wearing just not wearing like kind of platformy boots. And I'm not uncomfortable. So that sounds just okay. Yep, remember her? Definitely going the right way. Y'all want these pumpkin seeds because apparently they're good for like, well I like pumpkin seeds. And don't you know that these are the saltiest things I've ever tasted in my life. Now pumpkin seeds are supposed to have a certain level of salt. They are not supposed to feel like you just swallowed the Atlantic Ocean. So that was a tour of Santiago de Compostela at night. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys saw something new. And most importantly, I hope you got the desire to travel. Not necessarily Santiago, but just to travel in general. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm finna go to sleep, take off my makeup, and get ready for tomorrow because I have a tour tomorrow. So, thank you guys.